Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at both Retool and Bubble and by the end of the video you're going to understand all the key differences between them so that you can work out which one is better for you. To start with, which one is easier to use? Retool is generally found to be easier to use and administer overall. However, Bubble is preferred when it comes to ease of setup. It's important to note that the ease of use can also depend on your specific needs and familiarity with these types of platforms. For instance, Bubble is more suited for people who want to quickly build a prototype or minimum viable product, while Retool requires a little more coding knowledge but provides more flexibility for customizing your product. So which one offers better customization options? Retool excels in data-driven tooling, offering a wide range of integrations and customization options. It targets developers who require advanced functionality, and flexibility in their applications. Retool is a low-code platform that strikes a balance between visual development and custom coding, giving users more control over their apps. On the other hand, Bubble is a no-code development platform with a simple interface and a lot of ways to customize it. Bubble is geared towards non-technical users who prioritize speed and simplicity in web application development. It's best used by people who have never written code before. So which has better integration features? Both Retool and Bubble offer integration features, but they cater to different needs. Retool offers integrations with various databases and APIs. It's designed for software developers and provides a library of pre-built components specifically designed for developing internal tools. Retool is a tool designed for software developers and provides developers with pre-built components that can be extended by using high code almost anywhere. Bubble, on the other hand, integrates with many third-party services, so users can easily connect their apps to popular tools like payment gateways, email marketing services, and social media platforms. Bubble is a platform that allows users to build and host web applications without coding. So what about the pricing? For Retool, they have a free plan, which is $0 per month. They have a team plan, which is $10 per month per standard user, and $5 per month per end user. And then they have a business plan, which is $50 per month per standard user and $15 per month per end user. For Bubble, they have a starter plan, which is $29 per month. Then they have a growth plan, which is $119 per month. And then they have the team plan, which is $349 per month. Bubble also offers a free plan, but has limited features. So which one is better? Choosing between Retool and Bubble depends on your specific needs and requirements. Retool is a great choice if you're looking for a platform that offers a free plan with unlimited web and mobile apps and up to five users. It also provides more advanced features in its paid plans, such as audit logging, app and resource level permissions, portals and embedded apps, unlimited environments and unlimited modules. On the other hand, Bubble is a powerful option if you're looking to build full-fledged web applications without code. It offers a range of pricing plans to suit different needs, However, it doesn't offer as many features in its free plan compared to Retool. In conclusion, both platforms have their strengths and can be better suited for different use cases. It's important to consider your specific needs, budget and the features that are most important to you when making a decision. So this has been my comparison video between Retool and Bubble. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand all the key differences between them and you should be able to make an informed decision about which one is right for you. Now, I also hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please comment down below to say this video helped you out, and also like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.